Hi, this is Rick and today I'm going to be talking about acquiring and storing useful information. Now, if you're like me, you may rely quite a lot on the internet for information. After all, the internet contains pretty much the sum of all human knowledge. The chances are if you want to know something, all you've got to do is Google it and you're probably going to find your answers. So what happens if you find yourself in a crisis and, for example, the power goes down and the internet is no longer available to you? What I recommend for everyone to go and do, you know, I'd, I'd say do it right now. The second you finish watching this video, I would say go and start doing this, okay? Uh, go to the various websites that you feel will provide you with the information you may need if the internet is no longer available to you and start making hard copies. Now I'll give you an example here. This is uh, some information I pulled off the net. What you do is you print them out and then you put them in sort of plastic wallets so they're well, like little books. And uh, there is all sorts of really useful information here that will come in handy, or not necessarily handy, but I mean your life could depend on this kind of information. Now this is information you're probably not going to be sort of retaining up here. I mean it, it's great if you can learn it up here, but the chances are some of this information will only ever be useful in the time of a crisis. So, and the chances are you're not really going to be retaining that information very well unless you're using it all the time. So having a hard copy of it is, well frankly, it's quite essential. Now right now, this is everything I've printed out from the internet. These are all the hard copies. And I've categorised them. Uh, so far I've got five categories. See, the chances are, I mean, this, this, everything water, okay, you will only ever need this in a time of crisis. And, and I mean, hopefully you can go through life and you'll never need this. But all you've got to do is keep it on a shelf, keep it somewhere available to you. And if whatever happens and you do find yourself in a crisis, you're covered. You've got it covered. Okay, the chances are if you find yourself in a crisis and you don't have this information, it's going to become, it's not just going to become an inconvenience, it's going to become life threatening. So this is information that is so easy to get right now, but the chances are if, like I say, in a crisis you suddenly find yourself on your own and you don't have access to this kind of information, you're going to be in trouble. Of course the other thing is books. Um, don't just rely on the internet. There's um, all sorts of books. 1001 Home Remedies. Absolutely fantastic. Um, another one here called Where There's No Doctor. Okay, And of course the uh, the holy grail of all uh, preparedness books is called the SAS Survival Handbook by John Lofty Wiseman. This is, no home should be without this book. Um, but also the other one is um, if, if you do find yourself in a long term crisis and you're going to have to start sort of uh, supplementing food and things like that, what you're going to need is a, um, a trees and plants identification book okay if you have information saying that you know you can eat the bark of a, of a whatever tree um, you some you, you're actually going to need to be able to identify that tree so um, a tree and plant identification book could become a lifesaver so the point of this video is to put across the importance of knowledge and information you see the thing is in a crisis situation you're going to be needing knowledge and information that you may not necessarily have in here. You may be dealing with circumstances that you've never ever come across before. And that is where this comes into its own. This is why information and knowledge on stuff that you don't normally deal with is so vital. So I recommend anyone to just start now. Start printing, start getting hard copies, start keeping your eye out for books and don't forget to get an SAS survival hamper because these things uh, this is just the ultimate uh, preparedness and survival bible and uh, like I say no home should be without it. So I hope this video was useful to someone, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.